assalam alaikum dear students welcome to our first lecture of series of lectures that would be covered online we started this topic before the lockdown began and i think it's appropriate if we start from beginning so let's start again so today we are going to cover the notion of algorithm for rna secondary structure prediction if you remember we discussed different types of secondary structures that can be you know possessed by an rna molecule so and there are different methods by which you know we can we can um, predict the rna secondary structures one of the method is notion of algorithm that we are going to discuss today Nusin of algorithm or base pair maximization is a method to to predict the RNA secondary structure uh, that was developed by Ruth Nusinov, and this algorithm basically attempts to maximize RNA base pairs. Means it will try to look for a sequ uh, secondary structures that has the maximum number of RNA base pairs possible. Because as we have discussed. earlier you know in previous lectures that as the number of base pairs increases the minimum free energy of the molecule also you know uh, it it decreases so it has minimum amount of free energy available so that structure would uh, will be the most stable one this algorithm is very similar to dyna dynamic programming algorithms that we have already studied which included uh, smith waterman algorithm for local alignment uh, nidelman swonch algorithm for global alignment and this algorithm is also similar to that uh, what's the similarity we have a matrix uh, we have a sequence uh, a sequence on the x axis and we have the sequence on the y axis and then we try to fill the uh, matrix using some scoring schemes but here the methodology uh, is a bit different as uh, compared to the programming algorithms that we have discussed previously uh, and that and we are going to uh, talk about this in later slides uh, but keep in mind that uh, since secondary structure of rna can be very complex it can also consist of pseudo nodes but this algorithms this algorithm specifically it does not predict the pseudo nodes okay so keep that in mind so basic idea behind this algorithm is very simple we have to find the secondary structure of an rna molecule so we have a given rna sequence of some length we'll compare the sequence of rna with itself why because here we are not aligning a sequence with some other sequence we are trying to find out intramolecular base pair so we'll compare the sequence of rna with itself the scoring scheme is pretty simple here if the two bases are complementary to each other then we'll give a score of 1 otherwise a score of 0 will be given so we'll align the rna strand to itself uh, in this example we will consider G U pairing also. Uh, if you remember in the previous lectures that we uh, covered in class, uh, we discussed that G C and A U base pairing is known as Watson Crick base pairing. And other than these base pairing, we also have G U base pairing in R N A, uh, also known as wobble base pairing. So in this example, we'll also consider wobble base pairing. Only. So here we have a sequence of RNA strand uh, that is, you know, written on x-axis. There are 13 bases, and the same sequence is written on y-axis also. Before we proceed with this example, I would highly recommend that you should uh, pause this video, take a page. draw a 14 by 14 matrix write the rna strand as i have written in this slide and once you are ready then play again and follow me in filling this matrix 
so that you you also practice it so i hope uh, you have prepared a matrix uh, on your papers so let's start first step in a dynamic programming algorithm is initialization step okay in this case we will initialize this matrix by giving a score of 0 to the main diagonal so now we have initialized our matrix uh, with zeros on the main diagonal and on the lower half uh, of the matrix so let's start uh, filling up the uh, empty cells so a1 a2 the base pair with each other yes no so we'll give a score of 0 a2 u3 a and u to the base pair yes a and u base pair karte hai to hum yahan pe one score de denge then u and c u and c they do not base pair we'll give a score of 0 c and u they do not base pair 0 u and g wobble base pair hai yes we'll give a score of 1 g and u wobble base pair is score 1 u and u they do not base pair 0 score denge u and a they base pair with each other will give a score of 1 a and c they do not base pair 0 c and g they do base pair you have them score 1 score they denge then GC 1 and C and A and 0 uh, now this is the first diagonal that we have filled here we have given either score of 0 or 1 so we look for the complementarity if the bases they are complementary to each other if they base pair with each other like this one a and u the base pair with each other so in that case we'll just look at the score in the lower diagonal lower left diagonal and whatever score is here on the lower left diagonal we'll just add plus one to it and write the score here in the case of non-complementarity like this one a2 and a1 so here in this case we'll just use the highest score present on the neighboring cells okay so in this way you will keep on filling in the matrix abhi mein aap fill karta rata hoon aap hi mere saath isko fill kare a, a1 u3 ye base pair karte hain will give plus 1 score here because diagonal map is 0 hai 0 plus 1 is 1 a and c they do not base pair highest score hamare paas left se aa raha hai to isliye hum yahan pe 1 score de denge then we have u and u no base pairing 0 c and g they base pair with each other diagonal mein hamare paas 0 hai 0 plus 1 is 1 we'll write 1 here then we have u and u they do not base pair but we have one on left cell and also in the lower cell so dono mein se kisi cell se bhi aap value le sakte hain dono ki value same hai to we'll write one then we have gu wobble base pair we'll give a score of one u and a the base pair with each other score is one u and c they do not base pair but we have one on the left cell hum yahan se isko value one de denge then we have A and G, they do not base pair. Then we have C and C, they do not base pair. Then we have G and A, they do not base pair with each other. Neighboring C, highest value they are Then we have A1, C4, A, C, they do not base pair, highest value they are A and U, they do base, base pair with each other. So we'll write sorry a and u 
ये आपस में बेस पेयर करते हैं हम इस पर प्लस वन वैल्यू दे देंगे जी एंड यू वॉबल बेस पेयर प्लस वन यू एंड सी नो बेस पेयरिंग वन यू एंड यू नो बेस पेयरिंग जी एंड ए नो बेस पेयरिंग यू एंड सी नो बेस पेयरिंग वी हैव यू एंड जी जी एंड यू वॉबल बेस पेयरिंग पे बस वन आ जाएगा देन वी हैव ए एंड सी वन सी एंड ए वन सो इसी तरह से हम बाकी में टिक्स को भी फिल करेंगे अब मैं जल्दी जल्दी फिलअप करता चाहूँगा आप भी मेरे साथ इसको फिलअप करें ए एंड यू टू जी एंड ए प्लस वन यू एंड यू वन यू एंड सी वन U A two C and G two G and U two C and U one and C and A one. Then we have A G non-base pairing A and U the base pair with each other. So I have plus two value. I have G U and U. One, A and C is two. U and C is two. G and G, no base pairing. U and C, no base pairing. U and A, we have base pairing here. A Q, our base pairing for here. A or U Q, our base pairing here. Then we have A and A and U base pairing here. Then we have C and C. G U base pairing here. My plus three value. I check E C and C. My plus three and U and A. My plus two. A and U base pairing here. Then we have A and A do not base pair. C and U do not base pair. C and G they do base pair. U and C, they do not base pair, and then we have G and A, no base pairing. A and A, they do not base pair. A and C, do not base pair. U and G, vowel base pairing. Three value will come. C and C, and then we have A and U, match up. Then we have A and C. A and G. Then we have U and C. Then we have C and A. Four. A G no base pairing. A C no base pairing. U and A. My plus base pairing here. Then we have A and C no base pairing. A and A no base pairing. And then A and A no base pairing. So this is. How we fill up the matrix? अब इसके बाद जो हमारा next step है, that is the trace back step. Trace back step में we start with the highest numeral जो हमारे पास upper left side पे जो highest score है, वहाँ से हम start करेंगे and then we'll move along towards the lower score, lowest score in the matrix. जो हमारे पास ये जो फोर है ओके सो आई थिंक आई शुड मेक इट अ बिट लाइटर सॉरी फोर एंड ये जो हमारे पास फोर है वैल्यू ये शो कर रहा है कि हमारे पास जो आर एन ए सेकेंडरी स्ट्रक्चर है इसमें फोर पॉसिबल बेस पेरिंग्स होंगी अब वो कौन सी होंगी ये हम ट्रेस बैक स्टेप करने के बाद देखते हैं कि हमारे पास आर एन के जो सेकेंड स्ट्रक्चर है वो कैसा बन रहा है सो वट कैन वी डू वी कैन फर्स्ट यू नो मार्क द ट्रैक जिस पे हमने मूव करना है ठीक है और उसका तरीका जो मैं यूज करता हूँ वो इस तरह से है कि वी स्टार्ट विद दिस फोर ठीक है इसके बाद वी सी ओके दिस फोर 
केम फ्रॉम विच साइड ये फोर हमारे पास आया था लोअर डायगोन से राइट सो हम इसको मार्क कर देते हैं देन वी हैव दिस फोर एंड दिस वैल्यू केम फ्रॉम द लोअर डायगोनल ओके हम इसको भी मार्क कर देते हैं एट दिस फोर दिस वैल्यू आई मीन दिस वॉज ए एंड यू बेस फेरिंग ओके सो हमारे पास ये जो फोर है ये इसमें एडिशन के बाद आई थी सिमिलरली ये वैल्यू हमारे पास इस डाइग्नल से आई थी ये वाली वैल्यू हमारे पास इस डाइग्नल से आई थी देन वी हैव वैल्यू फ्रॉम दिस डाइग्नल और अब हम अपने मेन डाइग्नल पे पहुंच जाते हैं when we reach the main diagonal we stop there okay and then we'll uh, make the rna secondary structure here so this is the 5 prime end of the our rna and this is the 3 prime end of the rna let's change the color here okay and let me use this color सो आर्मे सेकेंडरी स्ट्रक्चर बनाने के लिए अब हम ट्रेस बैक स्टेप स्टार्ट करते हैं पहले देखते हैं हम फाइव प्राइम एंड पे हमारे पास ए वन है उसको हम कंपेयर करते हैं ए थर्टीन के साथ ठीक है ए और ए मैच आई मीन बेस पेयर नहीं कर सो so, हम इसको एज इट इज लिख देंगे देन विल मूव टूवर्ड्स दिस वन अब हम चूंकि डायगनल पे मूव नहीं करें वे आर मूविंग डाउन तो हम इस पे आ, इसको सिर्फ रीड करेंगे सो वी हैव अनदर ए देन वी हैव ए एंड यू हेयर सो हमारे पास यू थ्री और सॉरी यू थ्री और ए थर्टी की आपस में बेस पेरिंग हो रही है अब हम इसको देखते हैं दिस इज सी एंड सी ओके सी फोर और सी ट्वेल्व इसकी आपस में बेस पेरिंग नहीं हो रही देन वी हैव दिस वैल्यू दिस इज यू एंड जी वॉबल बेस पेरिंग है तो वी हैव यू फाइव paired with g 11 yahan pe hum move karte hain this is g or c so we have g 6 and u sorry c 10 acha theek hai then we have this value u7 and a9 u7 it pairs with a9 and then we have a u which is left okay so this is the 5 prime and this is the 3 prime so this is the secondary structure uh, that is predicted by this algorithm and here you can see that because this core was 4 aur maine aapko bataya tha ki this core represents the number of base pairing in our secondary structure to so, yahan pe bhi aap dekhe hai mere paas 1 2 3 3 3 and 4 hamare paas yahan pe char base pairs hain so i hope you have understood how to fed up the matrix how to you know, calculate the secondary structure of an rna molecule using the sine of algorithm there are however a few things that you should you know keep in mind the first thing the first point is that the rna structure prediction it remains a difficult problem to solve it's not easy because as i mentioned it earlier okay this algorithm it cannot you know predict Uh, it does not predict the pseudo knots in the rna structure secondary structure 
so till now we have you know discussed we have studied different approaches to solve RNA secondary structure elements the first one was the dot plot uh, which is more of a visual uh, kind of stuff and we discussed that in detail then we talked about minimum free energy uh, method and in that if you remember we uh, used energy tables and also you know learn how to read those energy tables and this is closer to reality uh, by that I mean that you know minimum free energy molecules they are more stable and more favorable in the nature we also discussed we also studied covariance RNA covariance analysis and uh, this method we generally use when we bring evolution into the question like when we are studying the evolutionary relationships we are you know studying evolution in the RNA molecule then we you know use this covariance analysis and today we have used base pair maximization in which we consider all possibilities now here you might be you know uh, thinking that what does it mean by consider all possibilities Hamare paas to ek hi uh, second structure aaya tha lekin ek jo humne path use kiya tha it gave uh, you know it gave out you know just one secondary structure but it can have multiple secondary structures this algorithm can give you multiple secondary structures so i hope now you know how to uh, fill in the matrix how to predict the rn secondary structure using nursing of algorithm and uh, here there's a matrix I would like you to do it yourself okay and uh, then we'll discuss this um, its solution in the next interactive session for this I want you to fill up the matrix and also show what RNA secondary structure that you found out using this algorithm so that's it for today uh, next time inshallah we'll uh, study another topic and I'll share with you the lecture slides of those topics soon. Allah Hafiz and good luck.